Hey guys, it's Chris. From mysterious fireballs in the sky to cases of ball lightning that continue to astound scientists, join me as I reveal the crazy balls of fire phenomenon in nature. Number nine, balls of fire in the sky. Believe it or not, there are many different accounts of fireballs in the sky that have been documented, including some that are still debated to this day. However, the one we're focusing on here is via a picture taken on the Portuguese islands. It clearly shows a fireball of massive size in the sky, and many are wondering what it truly is. Is fire really raining down from the sky? No, it's not. But it does look that way because of the light. This was produced by the effect of the sun on the clouds during the dawn of the Madeira Archipelago. But how do the clouds and sun do that, you might ask? The answer is simple. Clouds are more layered than they appear, and on that picture you can see those layers very well via the different colors present, including some of them appearing black like smoke. Clouds are able to take incredible shapes and appear in a variety of colors that seem to boggle the mind when viewed from the right spot. If this was a fireball, though, it would have literally rained down destruction on the islands, so thankfully that wasn't the case. To be fair to the people of Madeira, this isn't the first time something like this has been seen, just one of the more prominent given the size and vivid coloring and texture. Number 8. Nagas Fireballs Allow me to tell you a real-life story of fire shooting out of the water. In Thailand's Mekong River, every single year, a string of fireballs shoot out from the ground, hundreds of them. What's more, unlike certain other events, this one is consistent. For Time Magazine actually did a piece on this and noted that they appear on a late autumn night of the full moon at the end of the Buddhist Lent, for as long as anyone can remember. The event is so mysterious and rare that some believe it's a man-made event, including soldiers being across the river from a festival and shooting tracer rounds or flare guns into the air. However, that wouldn't explain all the sightings from before the time of enhanced gunpowder. Now scientific explanations for the event include methane bubbling up from within the river, which could make sense, but how does the methane get lit? And naturally, there is a lot of folklore about this event, including that there's a legendary serpent named Naga who springs up every year to do this act, hence why it's called Naga's Fireballs. And now for number 7, but first, have you ever experienced your own form of a ball of fire? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already. Number 7. Ball Lightning When many see lightning, they see forked bolts of electricity that strike the ground and arc across the sky. But there have been many recorded cases of a different kind of lightning going through the skies and appearing before people. Ball lightning. Quite literally, a ball of lightning that moves. One of the more ironic things about this particular mystery of nature is that it's not a recent occurrence. It's one that dates back many, many centuries, even going so far as to start making art of the event. But because of how rare it was, many felt it could be a hallucination or even a misconception of what they were actually seeing which would make sense given that science wasn't fully understood back then. Yet in 2012, some Chinese scientists were studying a thunderstorm in the Chin Hiai region of the country when ball lightning suddenly appeared before them, and they were able to catch it on video, thus proving its true existence. However, there are still many mysteries about this ball lightning event, including how it's conceived at all. The most popular theory is that the ball lightning is a byproduct of lightning striking something, particularly metal, for this event has been seen many times happening near metal objects. When it strikes the metal, a fire-like ball form emerges, or so they claimed. Scientists have been able to do a man-made version of ball lightning, but as for the natural version, more research is required due to its randomness and the inability to study it in known intervals. Number 6. St. Elmo's Fire there have been many names attached to the word St. Elmo's Fire, but what exactly is this rather special phenomenon, and why is it named as such? As for the latter, here's the origin of the name. St. Elmo's Fire is named after St. Erasmus of Formia, also called St. Elmo, one of the two Italian names for St. Erasmus, the other being St. Erasmo, and he was the patron saint of sailors. The phenomenon sometimes appeared on ships at sea during thunderstorms, and was regarded by sailors with religious awe for its glowing ball of light, accounting for the name. Sailors may have considered St. Elmo's fire a good omen as a sign of the presence of their patron saint. However, what is the actual fire of St. Elmo's fire? 
That would be a process in which luminous plasma is created by a corona discharge from a sharp or pointed object in a strong electric field in the atmosphere, such as those generated by thunderstorms or created by a volcanic eruption. What makes St. Elmo's fire such an interesting phenomenon is that this is something that's been seen throughout history in the most special of places. For example, it was seen by Julius Caesar himself, as well as other great men of the time in their literary works. It was also seen by men like William Noah, James Baird, Charles Darwin. Nikola Tesla was able to make his own version of the fire and more. Number 5. The Constantine Vision For a more unique version of the Ball of Fire, you need to head to a key time in the Roman Empire, when many factions were vying for dominance, and the leader of one of these factions was the future leader and changer of Rome, Constantine. Earlier in his life, he was a believer in the sun god, Sol Invictus which translates to unconquered sun. But as he was preparing to do a key battle at the Melvin Bridge, Constantine and his soldiers saw something. He and his army saw a cross of light in the sky above the sun with words in Greek that are generally translated into Latin as in hoc singo vinces, or in this sign conquer. It is said that night Constantine had a vision from Jesus Christ himself, stating that this sign would bring him victory. Thus, he marked it on all of his soldiers, and not only did he win the battle at the bridge, he would later become the leader of Rome and would turn the entire empire into a Christian-following nation. Though the story of fire in the sky has been debated heavily over the years, including Discovery Channel one time stating that he saw a meteor-like object in the sky that gave him the cross symbol, it's clear that something Constantine saw changed his mind and his beliefs. What better than a symbol of God to prove that? Number 4. The Burning Bush in the Christian faith, one of the most famous ball of fire stories is that of the burning bush. In the story of Moses, he was saved from certain death during a wiping out of his people, raised as an Egyptian prince, ran away after saving a life and taking another, and hid among a tribe for a very long time. Then one day he found himself in the presence of God, who appeared to him in the form of a burning bush. The reason the bush was so interesting was because it was on fire, but the bush itself was not being consumed. It wasn't even hurt by the piercing flames. The fire also spoke to Moses, and when Moses tried to challenge God in his words, the fire grew and showed the true power of the Almighty God. It was at this point that Moses was told he needed to return to Egypt and free the Israelite people and lead them to the land of milk and honey. This is one of the most famous stories in all of the Bible, and many have tried to describe the meaning behind what really happened. And yet this wasn't the only time a massive fire appeared to Moses. After freeing the enslaved Israelites, he made to leave the country. They were guided by the Lord who came to them as a pillar of fire. By day, the Lord went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud to guide them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, so they could travel by day or night. Neither the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night left its place in front of the people. Then when the Egyptians came to them, the Lord used the pillar of fire to confuse the army. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. Fire holds many meanings in the Christian faith, but these might be some of the more telling bits. Number 3. Beacon of Maracaibo In Venezuela, there's lightning that virtually never stops. This is known as the Beacon of Maracaibo. This happens every night in western Venezuela over the Catatumbo River. Starting at around 7 p.m., lightning will start to strike the river, and it won't stop for the next 10 hours. This storm happens between 140 and 260 days of the year and can strike around 280 times per hour. What makes this phenomenon so special is that no one is really clear as to why the lightning does this so frequently. There have been many theories, though, including that there was uranium in the bedrock of the lake and that it was causing the strikes. But others say that it's a unique weather pattern that's formed because of the mountains that surround the area. There's been no proof, though, that either theory or other theories are right about the lightning. Nowadays, the lightning has become somewhat of a tourist attraction because they're so powerful that they can be viewed from around 250 miles away. While not exactly balls of fire, this is a type of fire from the sky, and you can almost bet that either St. Elmo's fire or even ball lightning could be caused by the major amount of strikes via the beacon. Plus again, why does the lightning continue to strike? Number 2. Meteors, Meteorites, Comets, and Asteroids a far more common ball of fire that is often seen in the sky is that of asteroids, comets, and meteors. These entities from outer space sometimes pierce our atmosphere, and when they do, they can seem like they're literal balls of fire in the sky. And some of them come in droves, which is why they're called meteor showers. 
Usually they burn up in the atmosphere, but sometimes they fall to Earth in the form of meteorites. And to someone who doesn't understand space, it can be a sign from God or even something else. Or imagine Halley's Comet or another comet in the sky that burns bright. Try and explain that to someone who doesn't understand the entity that's flying above them. Nowadays, we can predict these events down to the month and even week, showing how much we've learned from these particular balls of fire. Number one, great balls of fire. So what does all this mean? From clouds that look like fire to ball lightning, frequent lightning that seems to set the sky on fire, legendary stories of fiery signs. What does it all mean? In truth, it means we have learned a lot about our world, and yet we still need to learn more. That we understand there's a lot out there that we don't know, but yet we have figured out some of these mysteries. Fire and light and lightning are key elements in our world and they come in many forms as we've discovered. As more of these events happen and unfold, we shouldn't shy away from learning about them. Rather, we should embrace them and see where these phenomenon really come from, if we don't know already. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at the ball of fire phenomenon that has taken many forms over the years of humanity's existence? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List, and I'll see you next time on the channel.